the United States of America. He owes the president an apology. He owes our country an apology. And he needs to take responsibility for his actions and his words. Well, you owe the president an apology because, as you know very well, uh, your campaign, Sidney Blumenthal, he's another real winner that you have. And he's the one that got this started along with your campaign manager and they were on television just two weeks ago, she was saying, Exactly that. So you really owe him an apology. You're the one that sent the pictures around your campaign, sent the pictures around with President Obama in a certain time. That was long before I was ever involved. So you actually owe an apology. Number two, Michelle Obama. I've gotten to see the commercials that they did on you. And I've gotten to see some of the most vicious commercials I've ever seen of Michelle Obama talking about you, Hillary. So you talk about friend. Go back and take a look at those commercials. A race where you lost... Fair and square, unlike the Bernie Sanders race where you won, but not fair and square, in my opinion. And all you have to do is take a look at WikiLeaks and just see what they said about Bernie Sanders and see what Deborah Wasserman Schultz had in mind. Because Bernie Sanders, between superdelegates and Deborah Wasserman Schultz, he never had a chance. And I was so surprised to see him sign on with the devil. But when you talk about apology, I think the one that you should really be apologizing for and the thing that you should be apologizing for are the 33,000 emails that you deleted and that you acid washed. And then the two boxes of emails and other things last week that were taken from an office and are now missing. And I'll tell you what, I didn't think I'd say this, but I'm going to say it. And I hate to say it. But if I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation because there has never been so many lies, so much deception, there has never been anything like it. And we're going to have a special prosecutor. When I speak, I go out and speak. The people of this country are furious. In my opinion, the people that have been long-term workers at the FBI are furious. There has never been anything like this where emails and you get a subpoena. You get a subpoena. And after getting the subpoena, you delete 33,000 emails. And then you acid wash them. Or bleach them, as you would say. A very expensive process. So we're going to get a special prosecutor. And we're going to look into it. Because you know what? People have been... Their lives have been destroyed for doing one-fifth of what you've done. And it's a disgrace. And honestly, you ought to be ashamed of it. Everything he just said is absolutely false, but I'm not surprised. In the first debate... And we in the really first, the audience need, needs to I calm down here. That it would be impossible to be fact-checking Donald all the time. I'd never get to talk about anything I want to do and how we're going to really uh, make lives better for people. So, once again, go to HillaryClinton.com. We have literally Trump. You can fact-check him, fact-check, fact-check him in real time. Last time at the first debate, we had millions of people uh, fact-checking. So I expect we'll have millions more fact-checking uh, because, you know, it is, uh, it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'll be in jail.